you're approaching graduation. Have you just finished that long, long haul to your convocation? And now what the fuck do you do? What do you do now? Are you thinking that? Are you worried about your life future transitioning into a career? What you're supposed to do with yourself? Well, in this video, I am going to discuss some of the topics and factors that often confront people after they complete their education and they kind of feel a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, uncertain, worried, fearful, all of the above. My name is Mike on uh, this Starts With Me channel. If you've been here before, you'll see a lot of the content is around personal agency, responsibility, psychological skills, tips and tricks to help you navigate these difficult things. Check out the channel if you haven't already. Anyhow. Now, um, I work with a lot of young people who right now actually are graduating and some are at different stages than others. One reminder is when you graduate from university, there's a, a really interesting term that comes from long distance running called teleo anticipation. All that really means is that you've stored up so much of your energy to get to a finish line because you know eventually you'll cross the finish line and then you'll be able to relax a little bit. So that does apply also to psychological things like school or jobs or projects. So it's an inevitable experience that all the motivation and the dopamine and the drive you've had to finish university does generate generally it's not always pleasant for sure but positive emotion meaning motivating behavior action oriented behavior and of course once you cross that finish line so much of your reserves your stored energy your stored dopamine if you will i'm not saying it exactly scientifically but you get the idea uh, falls away and often what happens to people is uh, what happens to people is that idea of what the fuck do I do now? Some people have jobs lined up. Some people are on a track. Many of us are not. I remember I desperately just wanted to finish so badly. I did terribly on my in my final exams. I managed to squeak through. Anyhow, so there's a multiple causes. So one, maybe it's employment worries. You're worried about getting a job. You're worried about what you're going to do with your life. Your whole life you have been told, get to this point, go to school, get an education, get a degree, then you'll be set up for life. And now you're back at square one. Okay, that's not everybody, but that's many people. One little tip there is just start small, maybe start a volunteer job, maybe start helping your neighbors, helping your family, helping a friend, little steps. What's one thing you can do today to help you move in the right direction? <sighs> okay, so what are some of the other things that we often worry about in this situation? A lot of it can also be tied to social network. So you've gone to school for many years. You've created a great social network, and now all of a sudden that social network or the, the container upon which that social network existed is now falling apart. People are moving back home. People are moving to jobs. They're going traveling, perhaps. So indeed, there will be a loss of social network. So perhaps you can remind yourself, or at least hopefully there's a few people still hanging around that you can connect with. Maybe you want to write out a list of a few people that you can stay close to if your social network is dispersing, because certainly that can be uh, difficult for a lot of people. Another one is financial stress. Perhaps you had student loans or you were being financed in some way to go to school. And now, if you're in Ontario, in Canada at least, uh, now it's time to start paying back those loans. So financial stress can be a big burden. and. To many of these problems, there's no simple answer. There's no magic pill. Yet making a plan to address these things is probably a good idea. So what are some financial plans that you can make to help you move forward? Maybe you contact a financial advisor. Maybe you have friends who are really good at that. Maybe you have family members that are really good at that. But many people will also be facing financial stress. Another big thing is lack of structure. I know many people that I've worked with 
point that point to that as being an issue, right? You got a class schedule, you have a routine, all of these things that really helped you finish school, get through school, kind of live your life day to day. And then all of a sudden, blam, uh, it all falls apart, kind of like everything else. And you're left responsible for your own structure. That can happen in so many different ways, whether it's sports, uh, excuse me, school sports, school clubs, I don't know, routines, all kinds of things kind of fall apart in the spring, summer as school winds down. So is it possible for you to reconnect to those clubs at the school? I'm not sure what happens in the summer at your school in particular, or maybe you can find a way to generate some sort of connection to clubs or activities or interests that um, you can find elsewhere outside of the school environment. Okay, these are all simple, um, well, simple, not easy suggestions. The big reminder throughout all of this, and the last thing I'll say is that it's totally normal to feel disoriented or that weird combination of emotions of excitement and relief that you're finally there and then simultaneously feel the anxiety or the worry or the fear that now, you know, you got nowhere to run, you got nowhere to hide, you are blasted into the real world where life is difficult and things are not so easy and structured. So maybe take a deep breath, let out a nice sigh. And just remember, it's totally normal that you are suffering or struggling right now or that you're experiencing a mix of emotions. One foot in front of the other, try to remember that one day at a time. See if you can start implementing little things that you know can be helpful for you to move in the right direction. I assume some of your peers are experiencing similar things, so you could connect to them as well. Reach out for support. There's always something you can do about your situation. So remember, it's supposed to be weird and awkward and anxious and exciting at the same time and uncomfortable. That's totally normal. Please share this with someone you think might find it helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. I hope you found this little ramble helpful. I wish you all the best. Take it easy. Peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.